Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently fighting Congo in this incredibly messy war here. Now we're going to get knocked back out of this area. That's reasonably fine. These guys are actually I'm going to let them lock in here. Any moment now. There we go. And we're probably well I need to think about it. Do I want to retreat here? Or do we want to bleed them as far as we can? I think we retreat. So we'll retreat back to here. That only retreated one of our armies. We'll retreat both of our armies back to here. Now we have another army grouping up here and another walking down. So we should be able to fight these guys up here and defend that territory. This over here is making progress. I want to move into Karagwe. Cool. And I think we're going to actually have these guys stop here for the time being and take this territory. There we go. Should be fine. They're sieging back here with a relatively small force. Okay. We're at 74% war score. So we can largely take whatever we want at this time. We win the fight up here, of course. We're now at 75% war score. Our war goal was to take Anziku, which I believe is already taken. Uh, where even is Anziku? And the coup. That's this. Okay. So we have ticking war score and we can get more. That's cool. Now remember, every loss that Congo takes, they are not replenishing. They're at zero manpower. That happened last episode. And we are going to siege down this territory. Beautiful. We've actually almost got this back. That's fantastic. So all of their allies up over here are nearly defeated. Hmm. You know what? They can have autonomy in that one location. It'll go down by default. So these guys have almost finished their retreat. They've now finished their retreat. We're going to take all of these armies down this way. It's a large force. And it will get larger as they move forward. So we're going to free up some of these seizures over here. That'll finish up soon. We're at 76% war score here. But what we would love to start doing is actually, I want to look at Buha here. Can we core any of these locations? We cannot. We have a colonist available. I have a dumb idea. It'll take 269 days to get here. But if we colonize Shamba, can we core Bazinza? I think so. So I think that's going to be our plan there. Cool. So Banyoro wants peace, obviously. We won the siege of Tumbuka. So that means that we're now done here. They're locked into Nisenga. We're definitely going to go there ourselves. And we'll fight this, and I don't think we'll stack wipe them, but we should win that very easily. There are 271k troops right now. Okay. And we are just going to start pushing our way down with these armies and clearing up some of this territory, but I don't want to spend too much time working on that, in all honesty. I think it's okay. As is. I was hoping that that would finish its siege. It did not. Okay, we won the Battle of Nisenga, as expected. The Siege of Lundu is now over. And of course, we need to keep in mind, we're going to have a huge amount of overextension from this, which means a lot of rebels. A lot of rebels. But it should be okay. I don't think it'll be a problem. We should be able to control it. We won the Siege of Safala, or we lost the Siege of Safala, actually. We should head down there. Okay, um... Now, we'll pay some money for some settler increase. That'll be fine. These sieges up here on their allies will end soon. Ish. The siege of Batua is now over. So, we're going to take these guys, and where can they go? Nowhere because of this fort. Okay. So, we're just going to leave them where they're at for the time being. We'll group these guys together. And these can come down over here and start working on capping this area. Or 
we could send them up over this way. And I think that's what we're going to do. So these sieges over here are progressing very slowly. We won the Siege of Nikor. Now we can't really get anywhere because of all of the forts around. We're in fact completely trapped there. But that's okay. The forts up there will start to fall soon enough. Okay, that was occupied by them. We're going to walk in over here. Are they locked in? They're not. Now they are. So we're going to walk in here, and this should probably stack wipe. That'll be Buha. That's fine. We'll take back some territory over here. Excellent. Okay, so they're capping territory over here. We're still trapped by all of these forts up here. But that's okay. We won the siege down here, finally. We're going to go into Highveld and siege that. Okay, these guys are locked into here. We're going to fight them there. Eliminating some of their forces here and there. I'd like to head up this direction and see about taking out some of these guys before they get too much into this back line over here. We won the siege of Buganda. That's actually a big deal. We're going to move one unit here and one unit here. We're getting kind of close over here, but not super close. These guys are heading this direction. We'll head over there and try to cut them off. They have a lot of troops heading up this way. I'd love to cut, cut some of these off. And we won up here. That's to be expected. We need to free up these units. That is our top priority. We're 96% war score right now. Keep that in mind. This may look awkward, but we're doing very well. We're actually going to gain army professionalism here. And we won the Siege of Safala as well. So we can split these guys up and start grabbing some of this territory. We're now at 98%. Uh, this is a little bit awkward here because of the lock-in. But okay. They're going to walk down over here. Our timing wasn't great, but we're going to catch them here. And we're still at 0% here. <laughs> Hilariously. I'm going to move these guys in like that. They can do that. Cool. The Siege of Masapa is now over, which means that we're at 99% war score. Now, we're not going to get further than 99%. We do want to move this up over here. And I want these sieges to finish. Getting more cannon on them will help. There's no doubt about that. But we need to catch some of these. And we did just lose a treasurer. Now we're getting very close to maximum on diplomatic power. And, well, every power, honestly. We can keep 999 stored. Okay. So I'm going to toss in... I was hoping to see an unrest reduction. Because we're going to have a lot of unrest. Hmm. Are any of these in accepted culture? No. So we're going to have to go for the plus three guy here. He is definitely not ideal. Definitely not ideal. And we're going to focus admin here. Yeah, our admin's very high right now. But... Uh, we need this fort to fall badly. That's what we need right now. I want to move up over this direction with these forces. And I'd love to come up and start hitting some of these guys. We really need these forts to fall. Okay. They really want peace currently. Oh, it still didn't fall, that tick. That's sad. Very sad indeed. We're going to get these guys moving down over this way. It's going to take them a while because of the forts. There's so many of them. Okay, we have these guys just kind of chilling up here right now. Let's take back some of this territory. Cool. 71%. They're getting such good siege rolls, honestly. Okay, they gave up on it. Good. We won this siege. So now we can start piecing people out. So we're going to piece out Buha separately if we can. Yes, we can core this. Beautiful. So we're going to full annex this and take all of their gold. 
We send that. Beautiful. Next, we immediately begin coring everything here. And that means that we're no longer close to capping our admin power. And because of the peace deal, our diplomatic power isn't close to capping either. We are going to have to spend down some mill power here. So let's go ahead and go into our development and sort by development cost. And let's bring this on up militarily. We'll spend down to about 700 here. Something along the lines of that should do. Fantastic. Okay, so we have one more diplomat here. So next we are going to piece out, let's see here, uh, Burundi? Burundi. So we're just going to take this single location here and all their gold. Uh, we'll need to take it a day. There we go. Now we'll need to wait for diplomats to come back. And I'm going to pull this diplomat back too. But we're going to get to work on coring that as well. Fantastic. So, are you moving? You're not. We're going to move you up over here. And we're going to take these guys up over this direction-ish. Actually, they're going to come over here. Cool. So we are going to do some peace deals here, eventually. Let's see here. I want to move these guys down this direction here. That just kind of hurts to look at, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Well, Congo will be the last ones that we peace out. Yeah, that's that's fine here. I don't really care about the separatists. That's okay. These guys, I want them to group together in, like, Bazinza for right now. Okay, we finally won the Siege of Karagwe. Cool. So, at this time, our diplomats are back. So, we need to get all of this under our control. And that is the plan. So, next up is going to be... Karagwe. Done. We're going to core that. Our corruption is currently growing. I'm not shocked about that. I'm also not particularly concerned about that. Now, we're going to move these guys over here and start taking this territory. These guys, I want them to come in and defend Kasanje. We will grab here. And I want to start taking some of this. Now, we need to take a day, and we can peace out Nikor next. So, next, we will sue for peace with Nikor only. We will take their territory. And this is going to be our overextension starting to get up there. We knew this. So. December of 1665, huh? Okay. So everybody wants peace, and we can continue to give it to them. Baganda, Basoga, and Banyoro. Not necessarily in that order. Bagan Actually, in that order would be fine. We can sue for peace here. Take this territory. And grab that. Fantastic. We'll need to core it. And then we need to take a day. And we'll have to wait for our diplomats to come back. We won a battle up over here. Beautiful. We won the Siege of Highveld as well. And we lost the Siege of Kasanje. I was hoping we'd get there in time. Sadly, we did not. So I'm going to have these guys split up at this point. There's no real point in having them be where they're at. Cool. Okay. So we will win this fight here, of course. And how's Congo doing troop count-wise? They're down to 174k. So they've lost 100k since we last checked. We're going to stop here. We're going to let these guys lock in. And then we're going to come hit them here. Beautiful. These guys can come here and cap. And then I'd like these to come around. Cool. So we're not going to get further than 99% war score here, right? It's just not going to happen. But what we're doing right now is we're buying some time for some of these cores to make progress. 
but we're at 92% overextension right now. So we should probably just wrap up this war as quickly as we can. So we are going to sue for peace with Basoga. We're going to take their territory. And that'll be another 10% overextension. So that's ours. And we will core that. Then, Banyoro. We'll need to take a day. And we will take all of their territory as well. That's going to be even more overextension. We're aware of this. It's going to be a lot of overextension. It's going to be a lot of rebels, too. So we're running low on admin power. That's why we switched over to focusing admin. And we're going to have to enter a chill period after this, for sure. So I'm going to have these guys spread out a little bit for rebel busting. There will be many rebels. Many, many rebels. Okay. For the time being. Yeah, look at that provincial unrest. It's not shocking. For the time being, we are going to continue to finish up this war. Okay. So, that battle is done. I want to grab Nagandi. I want to grab over here. But let's just see what we're going to take here. We need to wrap this up. So I'd like to clean up all of this territory up here. It's relatively not bad territory to take. Do we want to go any further than this? This will put us at 200% overextension. For the record. It's going to be a lot. A whole lot. Like... Particularists are going to be particularly problematic. Regular rebel groups won't be. We can possibly spend military power on the on keeping the particularists down for long enough. Possibly. Can we connect up like this? We actually can. Do something kind of like that. That's a huge amount of overextension. And that'll cost us 1,200 decor. It's dangerous. There's no doubt about that. We don't really care too much about this, of course. And we have got lots of cash. Lots and lots of cash. So if we have to hire mercs, that's okay. If we have to expand our army, that's probably okay too. But we're going to have major, major rebel issues if we go through with this. Like, to an absurd degree. Like, 10 plus rebellions per month. I think this is too greedy. I think we back off on this up here. And we go for something more like this. Even this is pretty greedy. But I think we just go for this and call it good. We can take a bunch of cash. We can take war reparations. And we can pillage their capital. And this way we only get... 86.7 overextension with 639 to core. This is certainly safer. It's less greedy. I think this is what we go for. We're already being quite greedy here, right? That's what we need to realize. We're already being greedy. So let's do this. Okay. There's a lot of forts up here. For the time being, I'm going to leave them. They will be useful for us. We're at 213% overextension. This is, like I said, already greedy. <laughs> no doubt about that. So let's sort by overextension here and just work our way down from most valuable to least. Cool. So with that done, the question then becomes, just how bad will our rebels be? The answer is quite until early 1666, which is when they'll start dropping. 
So that's going to be about three and a half years. Okay. So we're going to take all of our navies here that were kind of awkward. And we're going to move them up over here to group up. These guys didn't get selected. We're going to move them up over here to group up. Cool. Now we're going to need to spread out our troops a bit. And I didn't notice these rebels spawn up here, but I'm not surprised by them. Uh, we need to make our way over here with these guys. There we go. These forces are going to need to start spreading out. And we'll put them like over here, over here. Basically where they were previously, and over here. Okay. We're going to need forces spread out over this way as well. So here and here. I'm going to put these guys here. And I'll leave these guys about here. These can go there. That's fine for that position. These guys over in this area is reasonable. These guys in this area is reasonable. These I want to pull up over... I feel like over this way-ish. Okay, how many of these are actually moving? Sure. I'm going to recruit an army over here. There we go. Because we're going to need it. <laughs> and we're going to move these guys. And we're going to have them start walking up over this direction. I think we're going to need them there as well. Okay, we should be ready for a lot of rebels. Even with not taking this super greedy, it's going to be a lot. Uh, these guys can definitely head up over this way. Cool. 213 overextension is huge. Absolutely huge. How much money do we want to throw at rooting out corruption here? Honestly? We'll root it all out. Beautiful. This is plenty of money at this point. We're losing our inflation. That's good. We're spending some money on fort maintenance, and that's because of all of these forts up here. We're keeping them strictly for rebels. Although this fort is a very good strategic location, and we might end up keeping that too. Well... I think we have our plan for dealing with the rebels, in theory, anyway. I'm going to spread these guys out so that we're not taking attrition there, because we're going to need the manpower. We are gaining 18,000 per month. We may want to consider going into our production interface here, going into our buildings. First thing I want to check, manufactories. We can build two of them. Second thing I want to check, courthouses. Uh, not great. Third thing I want to check, state houses. Fourth thing I want to check is, in fact, going to be training fields. Anything that is over a thousand, I think, is worthwhile to build here. So we're going to queue up a bunch of these. Because we're going to need the manpower boost. We'll include a thousand here. I'm not going to do the 750s for the moment. Okay. So we'll do that. And everything else, we're going to focus on the rebels, which will absolutely start spawning very quickly. It's about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll start to deal with the rebels that we know for a fact are coming in the next episode. But before we go, I'm actually going to recruit... Two more army templates. Here and here. Okay. How are we doing on our force limit? Are we over it? We're not. We will be, but we're not. Okay. Sounds good. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer. Ken to win, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, El Michi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, Jens Graham, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. And there's going to be so many rebels. 
There's going to be so many rebels. <laughs>